In this lesson, we're going to walk you through add-ons and animations inside of Vev. Now, add-ons and animations are what you'll use to make your websites go from purely static to dynamic and beautiful, just like this. Following our page hierarchy lesson, we learned about the different levels of building our website. You'll remember that add-ons are the last level to building and attach directly to an element on your canvas to give it additional functionality. Now, we have a ton of options for add-ons within Vev. We have everything from animations, scroll speed, show and hide triggers, even links. Today, we're just gonna focus on animations. First, we're gonna cover how to add an animation, which is actually a fairly simple process. All we need to do is first select the element, go to either the add menu, or we can use the center quick tool for add-on. Now, we select an animation and open the customization menu by clicking on the icons here or here. Now for any animation, you'll be able to select between an animation on load or interactions that occur on click, on hover, or on scroll. As an introduction, we'll just be focusing on animations on load. So from here, we can select a preset. Now presets are used to speed up the process and have default behavior, which you can continue to customize if you'd like. You can select presets like slide in, slide from left, fade in, pulsate, even change background color. Right now, we're just gonna add slide in. So now we're in the animation tool. We're gonna go through the options one by one. First, we have duration, set here as 1.2 seconds. We're actually gonna keep this just like this, but by customizing it, we can make the animation occur faster or slower, depending on what we like. Here we have delay, which is great for setting when an animation should start. For this, we're gonna put 0 0.3 or 300 milliseconds. Next is the easing menu. Now, the best way to learn this tool is to simply play around with it and see how it affects the easing of your animation. This is great if you have a specific easing in mind that you want to accomplish, but for right now, we're just gonna keep it to court. We can also toggle things like loop animation or set it to run once. We can customize the opacity start and end and also the start and end origins using these settings. If we change it to 50%, it could look like this, or 100% would look like this. For this animation, we're just gonna keep it at 10%. Lastly, if we want, we can add extra effects, like a change to the background, or the border radius of your container. We can have it move horizontal, or even rotate. Now that's been an overview of the animation tool. But now that we have our first animation set up on our element, we can save tons of time by simply copy and pasting the animation to other elements. Now to do this, we will go to the copy animation icon here and click. Then we select our next element, go up to here to paste the animation. We can then go back to the customization menu and customize the delay to be a bit longer. I tend to like a 300 millisecond delay between animations, so I'm gonna go with that. Now we just do the same for the next elements. We paste again and set this delay to 0 0.9. We go to the next element, paste the animation, open the customization menu and set the delay to 1.2. Now, lastly, we have these two elements here, which I'm actually going to give the same timing to. So here I'm going to give it a delay of 1.8 and on this element, again, 1.8. Now we're ready to check out our full animation. We can go to the preview up here and see exactly what it will look like. Beautiful. And that's been a quick intro to add-ons and animations.